trip to Kyoto by having lunch at Burger King. How American of us. Here comes our bullet train, guys. We're taking this big old thing that goes really, really fast to Kyoto. Reserved seats and everything, kind of like an airplane. Let's see what's inside. Okay. What row are we for? It looks just like an airplane. Kind of cool. And we're off. And check out this leg room, guys. Lots of leg room. Fantastic. I also saw that you can flip these chairs around. So if there are like four people together, we could sit together like that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not, but there's a white peak off in the distance. It's a very cloudy day. But that's Mount Fuji. So that's pretty awesome. And you can kind of see it over, over here. We are in Gion in Kyoto. And this is the first thing we got off to see. We took the bus. I don't know what temple it is, but it's a temple. And then down the way here is the main drag of Gion. Lots of shops, lots of food. Just walked inside and it's this very like serene and peaceful looking place. That's beautiful. I'd love it if it wasn't so cold outside. But look at that. Lighted lanterns. We got closer to the pretty lanterns. God? Like the god of Like the gods yeah. of? Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. We are fortunate enough to have a travel companion who speaks Japanese, so she's <laughs> guiding us through so some of these things. Like, throw money in, make a wish, and then you shake and it. And then up and then there is a bell type thing, and you make a wish. And this particular little temple is the temple for love and romance and all that good stuff. Pretty cool. But it's also face. So like, oh, the tapioca. Oh, pretty. Is he? Really? Uh, all right. What do you want to do, dear? Something exotic. Look, exotic. Oh, I can't. <laughs> you can't register that that says Starbucks. It just looks like a line. But there's a Starbucks. Oh, shops. Hot yeah, de Roma. Oh, look at those dresses. Wow. Wow. Here we go. Here's a kimono. This is like where a kimono rental for 3,000 yen. So for 30 bucks, and how long is the rental? This is a traditional alleyway in Gion. A lot of homes actually, and little local shops. Um, and the homeowners are people who want to live near their shops. So we're out to dinner and we ordered sake. I've never had it before. It's cold. Apparently the good sake you drink cold. So we all have cold sake on the table. Not bad, not bad. We're getting not bads. All right. Like for example, uh, if you have to fill in the subject, she said nani nani. It's just like really dry wine. Yeah? It has a rice taste to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Not bad. I don't know what I was expecting. Less sweet brown. Oh, here is yeah. dinner. We've got rice and sashimi. And I don't really know. I think, I don't know if it's tofu or something in my noodles. 
There's a little dessert. I think it's a bean curd. A bean curd. That's what else hangs out here. Bean curd? Bean curd. Dried tofu, but I guess. So then the tofu. only thing we are missing, I think, is we're supposed to have some tempura that comes with it as well. Here's our tempura. So this is everything we're eating for dinner for about 20 bucks. This is a mighty fine birthday celebration. I don't know whose birthday it is, but there's flowers and lights and everything. We're walking the streets of Gion. We just had an amazing dinner at an even more amazing price. It didn't look like too much food because everything was very, very small, but man, it was more than enough. So now we're kind of meandering our way Where's that back. That we, we should go back there if we want to take the bus. Guys, old Japanese bar. Oh, no, English no, no. menu prepared. <laughs> <laughs> can't help it. We can't help it. I know English is not their first language and they're being kind to us, but that's still funny. <laughs> Guys, the staircase is wishing us a happy Valentine's Day. It is not February yet, but Valentine's Day is the next big thing happening. We're at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Many, many flights up. See that big circle thing? That's where they have a Christmas tree uh, uh, during... The yellow circle or the uh, silver circle? The, the circle circle. The one more inside. Okay. Towards us. So there's usually a Christmas tree over there during the holiday season. That's pretty. A lot there's a reflection of the tower in Kyoto. Yeah. The tower is actually the over there. The Didn't feel like it. Pretty crazy. All right, we can go down there and go in and then... So in Japan, we acknowledge that there is a lot of individualized packaging. You can get boxes of cookies and each cookie will be wrapped in an individual thing. And we think it kind of takes it to an extreme. Well, we went to a vending machine and got a little ice cream for a dessert and I got these little like bite-sized ice cream chocolate things. And I opened the box and this is what happens. Come on, there it goes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six individually wrapped itty bitty little pieces of ice cream. Good grief. Hi, it's Friday. I think it's the 30th of January and we are starting our full day, first full day in Kyoto and we're currently at the Kinkakuji Golden Shrine, which is apparently one of the top shrines in Kyoto. It's a big, big deal. And it's raining, so I'm gonna try and keep things short, but I wanted to give you a quick show around before the camera got too wet. Super pretty. If it was a sunny day, this would be absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Somewhere around here, there's a bird swimming. The gold-plated shrine. I'm hiding underneath the thing so the camera doesn't get wet. But there it is. Benji got a fortune from the fortune vending machine. Let's see what fate holds for him. Fairly good. Very good? It will not be long before all the troubles are gone and you will be happy. Be religious and devote yourself to your work. <laughs> well. Steady, it's time to do your best. <laughs> It's time to do your best, yes. <laughs> love, do not hesitate in declaring your love. Oh. Oh. Shouldn't be hard for the French guy. Removal, take it easy. Hennes, keep your free income, you will get your Ma marriage proposal. Ask <laughs> someone to serve as intermediary and it will go well. <laughs> Bus business, it's time to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Travel. That's funny. Travel, take your time. Take your time. All right. Oh, yes. That's a very elaborate fortune. I was expecting just like in big bold letters, very good. <laughs> good. Really good, yeah. I don't remember the name of the temple. I'll insert it below. But I don't know if you can tell, it's raining. It's really gross outside today. It's not, not cool. Um, of course, it's when we're doing all of our outside touring, but we are in a rock garden now. And this wooden temple thing. Again, I'll put the name below. We were all required to take off our shoes and put these silly slippers on, which if anybody knows me, that's not good. But we're here. 
Thankfully, the rain has let up a little bit, and now we are at the original Imperial Palace that, because Kyoto was the capital of Japan for a thousand years, and this is the original palace. Now there's the Imperial Palace in Tokyo that you saw in one of my other vlogs, which I'll link down below, and we couldn't actually go inside. Here, we actually get a really nice guided tour in English, which is awesome. We will to walk around the southern part of the palace. The northern part is not open to the public. Uh, the whole area is about 27 acres. Um, this is the way to train the countries. Usually they don't use scissors. And also in the spring, they uh, pick the pine candles by fingers one by one. And in this palace, we, ha we have 600 pine trees. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. Backyard. Look at that. Beautiful. Would be even more beautiful if it wasn't gross outside. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Look at the really cute kimono girl. She's adorable. It was close. Nijojo Castle. You can pause this and read it if you would like. Okay, I'm sure I look like a hot mess right now. We have been walking all day. It's nearly four o'clock. And like I said, we are in the Nijojo Castle castle that's what it is and the one building closes at four o'clock so everybody else has gone inside this is another building where if you take off your shoes and I'm not all about that right now after walking all day and of course the story of my life now that we are on our last stop before we are going to be inside the rest of the day the Sun is starting to come out figures right and that's after we're we've been frozen like I'm soaked through I'm like squishing in my socks it's it's a hot mess which is really a cold mess it's it's pretty bad 
but at least the sun is starting to come out now, which is nice. And then after we are done here, we're going to go back to Kyoto Station and we're going to hang out there the rest of the day because apparently there's a lot to do shopping and food-wise at the actual station, like you saw a little bit of last night. Kyoto Station, up in the skyway. There's a view of Kyoto at night. Really pretty. I don't even know how many floors up we are. Thank you. And this is part of the skyway with little decorations all up in it. Pretty. It's a Lego representation of Kyoto Station. Yeah. It is massive and awesome. Yeah, yeah, the stairs. Wow. Are they all in there? I can't see. Here, lift this up. Is it recording? Yeah. And film in so we can look like it. We just walked around those stairs and across the top of that. Well, yeah, and see, there's the, there's the thing I pointed out before. The yeah. other skyway? The little, like, suicide ledge. Is it there? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we were right here. Oh, we walked the across. The little thing we took a picture of. Oh, the gazebo? It's still recording, so go for it. It's down there too? Yeah. Oh, it sure is. We were just oh, the there. Geez. We were just there. Okay. Now what would be really funny is if they had a you are here. Oh, apparently there's a helipad on the top. Huh. Pretty cool. We never got up Pretty there. Pretty cool. Never went all the way up top to where all the trees oh, are. Did you look down it? No, I can't see. There you can. Oh, was that the staircase? Yeah. There it is. How funny. So today we're in Nara, which is about an hour's journey from Kyoto. But we're going to the Nara Park where there are deer and all sorts of other things. And the first thing you see are what I think are tombstones or something, but instead of flowers, there's little mugs for tea. There's the pagoda. And there's Benji running to get a picture in front of the pagoda. The three-story pagoda. Three-story pagoda. Pretty. Very what you would expect of Japan. There's a temple. I don't know which one. So then what you do, you put coin in the box, like we were doing the other day, and then you can ring the bell, make your wish. Maybe. Tangerines or something. Cute. It's cold, that's a very ambitious fruit. A lot of the... They had to take off their shoes, so I'm staying out here. We picked up an English guide. She was just holding the signs like a free English guide, so she's gonna take us around the area. It's Matilda and Eric. And Bambi over there. And Benji's over there. I'm not sure what they're doing. Building under construction over here and people can buy pieces of the roof and write down their wishes and it will get put on the roof. We've spotted our first deer. Currently Matilda's standing in front of it. But the deer just wander around here. And so it's just kind of, you know, strolling. Strolling along. <laughs> there will be many more. There they are. Now we're getting deer serious up in here. Check it out. This is only the beginning. And then some pigeons. I want a picture. So this poor guy, I don't know who he is, but he's got a pack of food. And look at the... <laughs> look at him! Oh no! Oh, that's so funny. Buddha. We're gonna go inside, see what it's all about. I'll put the name of the temple in the corner. There he is. 
the big Buddha. And that is one seriously large Buddha. He's in not nearly as big Buddha, right next to him. So for size comparison, that guy's pretty big. There's big guy. Yeah, big Buddha. I'll give you world's most terrifying staircase. That thing, like let me stand at the base of it. Yeah, no. Here's a little replica, I guess. Look at them all. How cute. That must be one, two, three, four, five. This is the tallest one, a representative of the tallest one. This is. I'm recording, Matilda. She's striking a pose. You take the water and you're supposed to wash your hands. I'm going to refrain because I can't even begin to imagine how cold that water is. Is it freezing? It's not that cold. I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick little hotel room tour. We are staying at the New Mayako Hotel, which is literally right across the street from Kyoto Station, which is awesome. We could not have gotten any closer unless we stayed at the hotel in the station. So that's great. So the door right here, and you walk into world's teeniest, tiniest closet, which I can't slide. Oh, it's really heavy. But yeah, teeniest, tiniest closet, five hangers, and that much space crazy and then you walk in there's this bathroom and the lights are controlled from the outside and you have to put your card in the slot to activate the electricity and you go in here here's our bathroom I'm super excited because I got my little toilet warmer back my little toilet seat warmer and here's a really big deep sink and the cute little towel rack rolly thing and the mirror and all that jazz and then there's all these little fun gifties in here. Body sponges, and I don't know what these are. Oh, hair ties, which I might actually snag, and shower caps, and brushes, and razors, and cotton sets, and toothbrushes. So that's awesome. And this is the shower with our stuff, and then all of the Japan hotels. I mean, I know a lot of places do this now, but they always have their own brand of stuff hanging out there. So technically we don't need to bring the toiletries with us. And then as per usual in Japanese showers, they have the uh, repositionable shower head with the option of down low or up high, which I actually really like. I kind of want one in my old, or my old, my new bathroom, wherever it is we end up. I'm sorry, I look like a hot mess. We just got that we. I just got back from Nara and the rest of the group went back to Gion and I was so cold, it was freezing out today, freezing. The sun was out, but it was wicked cold. Um, so I decided to come back to the hotel and I might be meeting up with the group for dinner at the station, but I was like, I'm just gonna lay low. So also I have no husband around so I can film this. Um, but I totally want one of those in our new home. And then I wanted to show you this, it's not part of the tour, but I found this at Kyoto Station. This is a drugstore brand product. It is a an expensive drugstore brand, but I researched online what are the top drugstore brand products that I have to find while in Japan, and it, well, this was one of them. And what it is, is it's a gel exfoliant. So what you do, there's no harsh beads or anything in it, but you take the pump and put it on dry skin, and as you rub it on your skin, your dead skin literally starts to like ball up and flake off. It was really gross, but it was really cool. I used it last night and it works. So it was 2,500 yen, so roughly 24, 23 dollars, which is a little expensive for drugstore, but still really good. So anyway, that's the bathroom. And then you come out here, excuse the mess. Um, yes, we have two separate beds because that's the kind of room we were booking with our deal. And then there's this really nice big mirror and we have this little TV that we haven't turned on yet because the only station we can get in English is CNN. And we have a desk. Notice that we don't have a dresser because um, I guess Americans are the ones that have the most clothes. We have a couch. We haven't had a couch in a while and a little coffee table. There's a hot water machine right there and the teacups and everything here. And then we do have 
a little refrigerator in here. I'm not quite sure how to open it. Grab it like that. There we go. Little fridge and a little desk drawer and then the mirror and there is a humidifier we haven't plugged it in but the air here is very dry so that's really nice for them to have so and my phone is dinging um everybody else there's kyoto wide internet in most of the bus stop stations so people can walk around kyoto and have wi-fi access which is really cool so and it's nice for me because i have wi-fi here so i can keep in communication with the group through facebook messenger which is great but yeah that is our little hotel room uh, we do head home tomorrow and then by home i mean hiyoshi not usa and yeah i think i am going to sit down with my laptop and the series finale of parenthood while i wait for them to get back Just how I want to start my Sunday. Big old snowflakes coming down and sticking to the ground. Boo! At least I'm not going anywhere beyond the train station today. So, Bree stayed home, but here we are in a nice snowy day. There's the hand washing, and you can see, uh, hopefully, that it is still snowing. I'm standing on the steps of the Fushimi and Nari Shrine. This is the main gate, and inside. So we're walking through pillars and it comes to a point where they go off in two directions. And everyone's stopping to take pictures, but it's a bit of a traffic jam. We're walking up a really long path. But with the snow, it is quite pretty. So we made it to the top of the mountain. There's no picturesque view, but There's a lot of little shrines. the bottom, but now the snow has largely melted. You can still see some up there. But it looks a lot different. I'm in Kyoto, and I'm in Kyoto.
And these are the side dishes. Eric wanted to try okonomiyaki, which is apparently Japanese pizza. I have absolutely no idea what it actually is. I'll let you know. But this is what it looks like, and it smells outstanding. So what happens when you order from your little touch screen is you wait and you hear this silly little song that tells you your order is around the corner. Look at that timing I have.